Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another PVC class video. And I know it's been a while, it's been almost a week since I played this. So I don't remember too much. But today I'm going to be playing 1-5 all the way through 110. And I'm also going to be playing this secret level right here in the challenges tab. So we're going to play this first. And uh, see what it entails. And apparently we unlocked Cherry Bomb for uh, completing this as well. Hey Penny. Yes, user Dave. Where are we? What is this? Hmm, I have detected certain powerful rifts in the timeline. In these rifts, the zombie attacks are much tougher than the usual ones. But defeating these massive hordes may rescue powerful and special plants. Well then, for the plants. So as the game explained, it's basically just, it's basically secret level. These will unlock every five to 10 levels you do. And these levels once, they're pretty difficult, but once you beat them, they will give you something really good in return. So for this level, it will give you a cherry bomb. Would just like to mention that secret levels actually used to appear automatically and you didn't have to go to challenges tab to do this so that's pretty interesting so obviously this is the first secret level which means it's not very difficult but uh it will get a lot more difficult once you go on to the later stages i'm trying to go for symmetry here but it's not really working out for me as you can see this that is a brick head and that usually in the original game that usually appears very late into the game so, as you can see, it's quite difficult. This is a lot more difficult than the uh, first uh, secret level in the beta version. I don't remember it being this difficult. Obviously, there's only three plants, so there's not much you can do anyways. I don't think I'll lose this. I should be fine. And there we have it, the first secret level done. We did it. There will be more rifts like these in the future, so keep an eye out for them. You'll never know where they come up next. Just like my pan. Did we unlock Chili Bomb for that? Okay, we did. So there we have it, we have Cherry Bomb now. And this should probably be pretty useful for these uh, other levels. The zombies can now organize massive attacks with three flags or more. They are also getting more dangerous abilities. Sometimes it might be a good idea to put attackers at the back. Some just have a hard time. I also notice that newly acquired plants. So yeah, this is just telling me what I'm already been doing. And as you can see, we actually get the ability to choose our plants now, which is pretty interesting. It is annoying that you have to scroll down. Oh wow, that 25 sun, wow. It is annoying that you have to scroll down to get the plants and stuff. When in the, in the selection part, but as more plants, as you unlock more plants, it'll become easier. This boost is really nice, actually. I wonder if it's still 25 sun, even with, even with tier, tier two or tier three. Honestly, there's not much to say about these levels, about this level. Um, but as you can see, there is a new zombie. It's called the torch light. It's a zombie holding the torch and basically it just burns through the zombies. Not. What am I saying? Burns through your, uh, burns through your plants. But uh, you can use Iceberg Lettuce to counter this. So it's not that big of a deal, but it can be dangerous. So just gotta be mindful of those. Perfect opportunity to use our Cherry Bomb. And also these Iceberg Lettuce are free. So just putting them down won't really hurt. Um, in later levels, they are better to save 
for emergencies, but it, the game's not too difficult now, so you might as well just use them when you can. I've lost my cursor like three times in this level, and there we go, it was even symmetrical. Okay, so as you can see, we have some pre-planted potato mines. And I believe this level before used to be pre-picked plants, but now you can actually pick your own plants. Which is pretty cool. And these potato mines haven't been introduced to us yet, but these potato mines, if a zombie steps on them, it'll just blow up and we'll insta-kill them. So as you can see, we have a bucket head over here. We don't have to worry about it because it'll just die. And boom. Or actually, it's the Dow. So yeah, these potato mines are really good for early game. They aren't that amazing for late game. But they are pretty useful. And stuff like this, if you see an opportunity to use a cherry bomb, just use it. It makes the waves go faster as well. So it just saves time. Especially for these early levels. Uh, these levels are really easy, so... You might as well just use it. Also, would just like to mention that if two zombies are basically on top of each other, uh, but potato mine will uh, blow up both of them. So it's not like it only blows up one zombie. It blows up multiple. It can blow up multiple, but obviously it has to be in the exact same place. And now we can actually use potato mine, and this is one of my favorite plants in this game. It's extremely useful. I use it on almost every level. Even some of the later ones, I still use potato mine. So this, so you're gonna see me bring this around a lot. What's this? Warp party. Um, and ooh, as you can see, we unlocked S1. I think I'll play that in the next episode. Ouchie, dust in my eyes. Seems like a zombie can utilize sandstorms to get through our defense quickly. My sensor detect that any kind of freeze or stun will stop the sandstorm prematurely. Use this knowledge to fend off the massive, the massive sandstorm attacks today may bring. Along with some starting sun, you will need this as heavy attacks start early today. My eyes! Survive with 500 starting sun. As you can see, we have a sarcophagus zombie, and we also have a pre-placed bloomerang. We're gonna get our potato mine. This is very important. And yeah, I'm not gonna get the walnut. I don't think it's very really good. I haven't been even been using it so far, so I'm just not gonna use it. We have a camel zombie already, huh? That's interesting. So I'm just gonna preemptively plant some blue meringues. Uh, preemptively plant this. Ooh, wow. Hmm. Why did I place my sunflower there? That's kind of dumb. I mean, that is dumb. Why did I do that? I should plant it on the third lane. I planted my potato mine on the lane where there's two attacking plants. What is wrong with me? A uh, sarcophagus zombies are basically they're basically the same as normal zombies. They have a lot of HP, so they 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 have a lot of health, and they also cannot be insta killed by cherry bombs. So we're basically just a counter to cherry bomb. Never mind. I guess they can be insta killed. Huh. Man, this is pretty difficult, honestly. These songs are so annoying. Yeah, I should put them closer up. What am I doing? I'm just, I'm just being dumb, really. I don't know why I'm doing this. These zombies are the most annoying things, and they're just being spam as well. And oh, 
It was literally armed. It just got eaten. Anyway, this last a wave, so I'm fine no matter what. I will try to save all my lawnmowers though. Oh, that level was so annoying. I mean, part, part of it was my fault. I was putting it way too close. I was putting my cabbage pole way too close, huh? Yeah, I guess that was my fault. <laughs> We also got a uh, seedling. I, is it sapling or seedling? I don't know. We also got a seedling, so I'm just going to plant this here. And I am also going to go and look at the almanac and see what tears for this. So it does more damage, but the arming time is higher. What about cherry bomb? 200 sun, more damage, less recharge. Okay, so it's... Instead of just affecting one zombie, it affects a whole tile. I might go for Cherry Bomb, but that costs 9,000 coins, so it might hold off for the time being. And we all have the boost. So I'm going to say about this plant drop coins. I will save this boost. Because I don't think I need it at this current moment. Greeting Temporal Commuters. Special, curry Special carriers have been dispatched to retrieve your brains. Please have your release form signed before their arrival. Regards, Dr. Edgar Zambos. Cool, but Mr. Boss guy wants your autograph. This can't be good. Perhaps we'll need to maintain enough sunflowers to weather hordes. Two columns should be enough in most cases, but plant more if needed. And that is exactly what I've already been doing. Ooh, and also we have a gargantuar. Already, huh? So the Gargantuars are just really tough and they also have an imp on their back which they throw to the third column. Yeah, this is probably going to be a pretty difficult level, huh? So yeah, it's slowly starting to, to uh, give more zombies. I'm going to use Shirley Bomb to blow up the graves. The fact that Potato Mines can insta-kill the sarcophagus zombies just make it so good. And we now have a Gargantuar. So the best way to deal with these guys is is by using the potato mine and it just destroyed my iceberg lettuce okay we have reach hacks and there we go once it at once it at half health it will throw an imp yo there's so much so, so many zombies okay It's actually really hard to keep up with how many zombies there are. Man, the game of this game is really difficult. Sandstorms are ruining my day. This is the 8th level, and it's already this difficult. Yeah, that's insane. Why are we so covered zombies so close? I, this is probably why I should save my, uh, my chili bomb. And I keep on losing my cursor as well, it's really annoying. The cursor just blends in with the background. And we have another Gargantuar. How fantastic. Oh, I don't want to use my Cherry Bomb, but I might have to. Ah. Uh, it still managed to throw the imp. I don't know how it did that. Honestly, I don't know how I could have played better. Like, I feel like I could have done better, but I don't know how. I feel like with, with uh, such limited plant options, it's just not very... It's very difficult to do better than this. And now we have unlocked Starfruit. This, you usually unlock this very... Uh, in the second world. And now you unlock it in the first world. It's pretty interesting. Shoot stars in five directions. Destroy 23 gravestones before the final wave. Oh, okay. So yeah, star fruits a necessity then. 
I don't know if a potato mine is going to be worth bringing. There's no camel zombies or torch lights, so I'm not going to bring bloomerang. I think this should be good. This is pretty interesting, huh? This is definitely a new level in a... Uh, In, um, what am I going to say? In, uh, 1-9. Usually it's not this. Hmm. Starfruit is doing decent amount of damage. Okay. So, yeah, I'll probably have Starfruit as my main attacker then. They attack so slow, though. Very interesting level. It's not going to be too difficult, I don't think. But just a very interesting gimmick. Uh, levels like these did exist in Eclipse, but we used to be like at the second half of the game. And now it's literally in the uh, first. It's in first world. Yeah, I'm just gonna use Starfruit only. I think that just makes more sense. I need to destroy this gravestone as well. Completely forgot about that. Um, hopefully, I should be able to do that. Is it before final? Before final wave. Um Cherry Bomb! Help! Help Cherry Bomb! Please, 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 please. Oh no, oh no. Come on, come on. Is that gonna work? Is that gonna work? Uh did that work? Am I safe from failing? Uh I should be safe, I guess. Where's my cursor? Uh, I guess that worked. Hmm. I'm glad a cherry bomb was able to recharge in time then. And there we have it. 1-9 complete. Didn't even use cabbage pole. And now this is going to be the final level I'm going to be doing today. I assume this is probably going to be the same as the original. Not original. As in beta 1.9. Yep, it's the same level. Sometimes you'll need to tread lightly around the zombie hordes. Try to wait until you have a good enough defense instead of attacking zombies right away. I already know. Thank you, but I already know. And that is exactly what I have been doing so far. So the gimmick of this level is... Most of the zombies will come through sandstorms. And will come behind the walnuts. And occasionally a couple of zombies will come normally. And will try to eat these walnuts. So. Pretty interesting gimmick. And also you can't use Bloomerang for this. We have Starfruit. Which is something we didn't have before. That's interesting. I think this should be a good strategy. Okay. One ten behind the storm. This should be exactly the same as last time. So yeah, this level is unchanged. I do agree with that though. It is a very cool level. Really cool gimmick. This is one of the first levels that said yeah, this game is going to be amazing. So, I'm really glad they kept this in. It makes a lot of sense to me. Are you serious? Okay. And as you can see, we now have a zombie that is actually going to harm our walnuts. That can actually eat our walnuts. So, we gotta be mindful of these. Honestly, Starfruit is one of those those uh, plants that I didn't really get around to using very often. But I do know that in the original game it was very good. That is really close, huh? Oh, I hate for coffee with zombies so much. Are you sure it's not hitting it? I'm trying to use my cherry bomb. This is very challenging, honestly. What? They're really okay. 
Come on. Does it really have to be that close? Cherry bomb, come on. Oh. Cherry bomb is letting me down, honestly. And we have a Guardian Shore. So, Cloud Zombies are such a pain. Second column, huh? Yeah, even though it's not second column, it's we're just normal zombies, so. Really? Okay. Die, please die. Kindly die. So yeah, as you can see, if you have a good good defense, this level won't really be a problem. And this is the last wave, I think. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. I didn't even see you, please don't die, please don't die. Oh, thank god. Oh, finally. And now we have unlocked a key, apparently. That was the last mummy for now. That's a wrap, according to my gauges, I think. I don't know. User Dave has been waiting to use that joke since we got here. No, it's better than wrap a warp. Let's move on to another timeline. Discover Lost City discovered the vanished city of gold where sun is plentiful and misplaced zombies abound. Use special tiles for extra sun for these for these treasure seekers are no idle threat. And there we have it. We have completed Ancient Egypt Part 1. And next ooh, I think I will do both of these levels in the next video. Along with uh, the first five levels of the next world. And there we have it. Lost City has been unlocked. I also might do this. I'm not too sure. So yeah, War Party is something available for limited time. As you can see, you have 12 hours left. And with War Party, it's basically... I don't know what it really is, but I think it's just... It's basically a pinata party, I think. Um, and it gives you mints, which doesn't really do anything at this current moment. But I assume we're going to add a functionality for it in the future. I might do it, although I've only been in one world. So I guess, so I'll probably wait until I'll be in some more levels. Until I'll uh, go in and do this. It does... It's been fortunate that I didn't complete more levels, otherwise I probably would have tried this. But if you guys have done, if you guys have done a bunch of levels before, then uh, go ahead and do that. Next up, so I'm going to be doing S1 and S2. Yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, the secret levels are now in the travel log instead of just appearing naturally. I guess that's fine. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Subscribe. It means a lot to me. Like this video as well. Peace.